What's up guys? This is Phoenix White and this is another episode of The More You Know with me. Um, so we're all about kale this week and today I'm going to show you how to make a kale fruit salad. Now we already did the smoothie which is something that you could basically have in the morning, before, you know, for breakfast. But now we're going to do something for lunch which is something that I make a lot. So The object with the kale is to basically cut it really, really tiny. So I'm gonna take it here, and cut it really small chunks. And you cut it really, really, really thin. Don't cut your hands. My hands are really close. And so it's pretty much that. So the pieces are fairly thin, like that, okay? So we're gonna put that in our bowl. I'm gonna take some onions, and chop those up. And I like to make my onions super thin. Can you see that? And I make them thin for a reason so that I can peel them apart like this. Now I'm not a chef, but I love to eat really, really good food. So these are some of the things that I have come up with that I love. So here we go, we're pulling them apart. Doesn't matter how you do it. Then we move on to our tomatoes. Let's move this out the way. Tomatoes, I do similarly the same way. Cut them really, really thin. Everybody has their own way. So I take them like that. Now, the thing that I do with my tomatoes is I season them before I actually put them on my salad, which makes them taste a whole, whole lot better. So I take a little bit of my sea salt, very lightly. Oh, it's not coming out. Let's go ahead and open that up very lightly, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and mix it up with my hands, and I just toss them on my salad. Yum. Okay, on to the next thing. We're putting apples in there. So, what did I say about apples in the last salad? Apples just taste really, really good, and make sure that they're green apples. It makes a big difference in the taste. So you just chop this up however you want it to be on your salad. You like big chunks, you like little chunks. Doesn't matter. And just break those up, put it on my salad. And this is very quick and easy to make and it's healthy, which is what we're trying to do as I swing the knife around. My kid actually really, really loves this as well. So your kids should enjoy it too. Now, my secret ingredient that I love, love, love is Brianna's home style vinaigrette. And it is so good. So for all you vegans out there, or for people who just want a healthy salad and want a really, really good tasting vinaigrette, this is so bomb. <laughs> so, it's awesome. So we're gonna pop that open, but first, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil because some people may not want a vinaigrette. So sometimes I just pour it in the cap because it gives me just enough. Put that back. And I'm kind of messy when it comes to cooking stuff. It's just easier to just mix it up with my hands. I mean, I wash them, it's my salad. Take a little bit of your sea salt again, sprinkle it over the top. A little bit of your pepper, sprinkle that. A little bit of lime, like we did in our smoothie because it cuts down that taste. Flip it upside down, that's how you use these things. Only squirt very little because you're gonna use the vinaigrette. So a little bit of that. Mix it up again. Yum. And also, I really, 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 really love 
sesame seeds. So take a little bit of this, sprinkle it on top, and it makes it look really pretty. I like pretty food. Sprinkle it on top. Shake this up so we can get all the cool stuff at the bottom in there. And we just put a little bit over the top of our salad. And voila, you have a kale fruit salad. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to go eat this. We'll be back. This is yummy.